Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video, we're going to talk about comparing decimals. And I wrote a question, which is more, this or this decimal? If we read it like many people read them, it would be 0 0.04 or 0 0.016. Which is more, 0 0.27 or 0 0.3? I chose these because many children, if they have a misconception of decimals, they might look at just the uh, digits after the point and read it as, okay, 27 something and 3 something. They might think of these as numbers that are on the other side of the decimal point and say that, hey, 27 is more than 3, so this must be more than that. Or here they might think, well, there's 4 and 16, 16 is more. So that's a misconception that we teachers have to battle and explain to them in some way so they don't get this misconception. I want to use place value charts. Here is a place value chart. This is hundreds place, tens place, ones place, tenths place, hundredths place, and then thousandths place. I wrote two numbers here. These are whole numbers. 462 and 468. Now, to compare them, we look at the Biggest place value unit here, we look at the hundreds, and they both have four hundreds. These numbers both have six tens. And then we come to the ones. This is two, this is eight. So therefore this is more because eight ones is more than two ones. The same principle is used when comparing decimals. And I'm going to write these two decimals here in this place value chart. I have my decimal point ready here right after the ones place. So 0 0.04 is 0 0.04. It is four hundredths. But the other number is like this. Now when we compare, starting with these units, going over to the right, we see that they have the same amount of hundreds, same amount of tens, none, same amount of ones, same amount of tens, you know, none. And then here, this number has more hundreds, hundreds than this one. So therefore, this is the bigger number. And the thousands, they don't count when, when this one was already more than this. On a number line, it is not as easy to see if the child does not yet understand place value very well. But this is how it goes on a number line. If we have a question, which is more, 0 0.3 or 3 tenths or 27 hundredths? My number line goes from two tenths to three tenths. And to mark this number on it, it has hundreds. I need to divide from two tenths to three tenths into ten parts, like this. Each part here, each interval here is one hundredth. So therefore this here, two tenths is also twenty hundredths. And then this next one is one hundredth more, or 0 0.21, 21 hundredths. And here's 22 hundredths, and then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, here's 27 hundredths. And we see on the number line, it is smaller than 0 0.3, or 3 tenths, because it is closer to 0. Any number from here, we, we look from here, and any number more to the right is more, or a bigger number. Let's use the place value charts also to figure out which ones of these numbers are greater. I have here six tenths and six hundredths. 0 0.6 goes like this on the chart, and then 0 0.06 goes like this to the chart. And now you look at the ones, they have the same amount of ones. Say, and they don't have the same amount of tenths, this one has six, this one has none. So therefore this is bigger. Okay, here is 0 0.80, 0 0.800. Now again, a child with a misconception might think that, well, 800 surely is more than 80, right? Writing this here, 0 0.80 or 80 hundredths. And then this one, which is 800 thousandths. We see that they are actually equal. They have the same amount of ones, same amount of tens, same amount of hundredths, and same amount of thousandths. Zero here and none here or zero. When it's empty, it's none or zero. Here, I'll write 5.001 and 
a child with that misconception again might think these are equal because it looks like one and one. But using the place value chart, we clearly see that here this number is bigger because it has one hundredth, whereas this one has none. Lastly, I write 6.65, and then this other one, 6.605. Which one is more? They have the seven amount of ones, seven amount of tens, but this one has hundreds, this one does not. So 6.65 wins, and it's great.